Welcome back. You are watching Good Morning Zimbabwe. Danai Jekesai Gurira is a Zimbabwean American playwright who has received many accolades, awards, and honors, including the 1997 Zimbabwe Arts Festival Best Actress in a Lead Role, and the 2004 Laura Pelz Award, the 2006 Obie Award, the 2006 John Gassner Arta Critics Award, and the 2008 Method First Best Supporting Actor. And last but not least, was given a Hoda Fellowship from the Louis Center for the Arts, Princeton, uh, for her creative writing ability. She also stars in the hardest TV show in the United States at the moment, The Walking Dead. Welcome to Good Morning Zimbabwe. Did we just Thank say you. it all? Maybe there's just so much more that we have missed out. Uh, it's all right. You, you, you said some good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and you've also written your own play, uh, The Convert, uh, and your winner of the 2011 Service Award and Edgerton Foundation New American Plays Award. That is so much that you've done. You know, you're so young, but you've got so many awards. How did you manage to get that? I look. <laughs> uh, how did you manage to get all these awards? What, what is it about you? Uh, you know, uh, it, I mean, I, I do feel very blessed. Um, I feel like the only thing I can really say is that I've um, followed what I felt I was called to do, and I've worked extremely hard. And it's it's a long road. It's mm -hmm. it's nothing. Nothing feels like it's come easy. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, I feel like there has been a lot of response to my voice in the United States, um, uh, especially the, the convert just won another award on Monday, and it's it's, it's mm -hmm. just it's a blessing. Mm -hmm. I, I have no idea um, other than the fact that I, I just speak truthfully from my heart, and I trust that even though I'm telling African stories in the American context, that they can um, they can absorb that. And I people say, no, you have to make it American. I'm like, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. It actually, if I tell stories truthfully, but in a well-structured, hard-worked way, mm -hmm. the, the hope they'll resonate. Mm -hmm. And so I've just trusted that, really. Mm -hmm. And maybe there might be some people out there who might not know who Danai Gurira. Can you just give us a highlight of Danai Gurira? How did you get you <laughs> where you are right now? I mean, I'm an actor playwright. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up in Zimbabwe. I was born in the United States. We came here when I was five years old. Mm -hmm. And um, I, so I was here right through high school, right through the end of upper six, mm -hmm. Dominican convent. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I always give my little high school a shout out. Mm -hmm. um, and I, uh, I went back for university. And I'm, I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful that my parents brought us back here as children, mm -hmm. just as Zimbabwe had gained independence, because I was able to really understand who I was. If I had just grown up entirely in the U.S., I, I, that, that wouldn't, none of that you mentioned would exist. But I, still, at the same time, there are people who have the same background as yours, but they did not come back to Zimbabwe to do all those things that you're doing for local theater, for local artists. What brings you home? I love home. I mean, I, I knew, I must say, that I knew the minute that I uh, left here for university and I went to the United States and I got there and I felt it out and I said, I will go home every year. Mm. It just was clear to me mm. that home was here. Mm. And I, I, I appreciate the United States. It's very uh, convenient. It allows me a lot of opportunities. Um, uh, but I, I always knew my heart was at home, was in Zimbabwe. Mm. And I, I think that a lot of other people know that too. But I, I mean, they, they, they choose to, there's a lot of things that get caught up in their lives and they don't, they don't get back but uh, for me it's it's always been a priority mm -hmm. tell us what you do about, about the stuff that you're doing right now yes uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm a part of an organization I'm creating uh, I'm, I'm co-creating an organization right now called Amasi collaborative arts mm -hmm. and Amasi basically uh, is about myself and patients patients Tawengwa are creating this this organization basically to help inculcate professionalism education and excellence in Zimbabwe's dramatic arts sector when I come home I tend to see there just there's just a need for for a certain degree of training, a certain degree of apprenticeship and craft that needs to come out so that we can actually have a really thriving dramatic arts sector and, and a really professional one. And one where we create work, save playwriting or whatever type of writing, screenwriting, mm -hmm. that really resonates even beyond our borders, mm -hmm. even though they're very Zimbabwean stories, mm -hmm. which of course, as I've said, I believe is what we can do. Mm -hmm. So myself and Patience are in the midst of, of, of officializing this organization. And right now we conduct play reading series, which is where we have have um, open to the public readings of, of plays, plays that have done well, that are uh, usually global works, because we want to expose the community to really well-written plays, not, not performed, but really paying attention to dramatic literature. Because if, if we don't pay attention to what's on the page, it shouldn't be on the stage. And what I've noticed whenever I come home is people want to put things on the stage very quickly. And things are not ready to go on the stage yet. Mm -hmm. I've spent, the, the, the play you mentioned, The Convert, I spent four years developing it. And some folks want to develop things in a week and then say, 
let's uh, let's put it up and i'm like no 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 that's why it, it's not being replicated that's why it doesn't get published that's why we don't see it going to other countries and being known you know mm -hmm. in order to do that you have to do the work mm -hmm. so we're developing the idea of dramatic literacy literacy mm -hmm. and so the convert is going to be one of the plays read this is the third one we've done mm -hmm. and it'll be on friday um at zimbabwe german society okay. at 1 30 and that's uh, my play the convert which is a zimbabwean play but has and has done very well in the U.S., but has yet to be heard mm -hmm. on its own soil. Well, we're glad that you're having all, all of these plat uh, platforms to showcase your talent to teach and uh, also help uh, Zimbabweans on how to be, you know, to get to your stage. Obviously, everybody would want to be there. Thank you so much for coming to Good Morning Zimbabwe. And I check Esai Gurira, a Zimbabwean American playwright, actress who is currently starring in the one of the hardest uh, TV shows in the United States at the moment, uh, The Walking Dead. She plays the role of Michonne. Be sure to watch out for that uh, on your screens. Anyway, good morning, Zimbabwe takes a break right now. We have more coming up right after this.